Yeah. Okay. Can I address you as Sunny? Yeah, yeah, you can address me anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> or do you want or do you want Sunny G? No, 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 not at all, not at all. <laughs> uh, our favorite star for so many wonderful years of cinema. As we reel from this challenge of this terrible pandemic, locking us all inside for the last four weeks, I'm deeply grateful to Mr. Dior for coming on our virtual platform as our guest speaker to have a live interaction with our Lady Study Group members. Lady Study Group is a women's leading forum in India for over 50 years of professionals, entrepreneurs, and homemakers. We have had many talks on national issues by eminent speakers, and we as a charitable trust support many NGOs and award brave women who need help and recognition. You do not need an introduction as a top hero who went on to win national and filmfare awards for blockbuster movies and sensitive portrayals of memorable characters on the screen. Starting with Beta, Dadar and Border, they will always remain unparalleled on Indian screen. You have produced and directed many films successfully and now in a new role as member of parliament from Gurdaspur, Punjab, you take on a new journey. Can I ask you the first question, Mr. Dion, or would you like to yeah. say something? No, no, please, please, please do ask me a question. Has the corona lockdown allowed you time to reflect on the need to change and slow down our hectic urban lifestyles and how and your family have been dealing with this? I think this has basically, I mean, uh, definitely it has uh, brought everybody to a standstill and uh, uh, a lot of fear is going around and especially with the families and uh, knowing that you have seen your family, people in your house and the children. So definitely, uh, you know, you worry more not about yourself, but about your family. So that's the, that's, that's, that's what worries you more. Uh, but my dad, my mom and all are doing very well. They are at the farmhouse, uh, which is the best place because it's acres and acres of land and nothing around over there. So they're in the free zone over there. This and, is in uh, Punjab or in, in no, Mumbai? In, I have, we have a farmhouse over here in uh, Lunavla. It's, it's around 100 kilometers from Mumbai. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. So you're not, if anybody's following his uh, Insta, he's always putting it on uh, the kind of farming and the things he's doing. Yes. I mean, coming down to the land, actually, you know, saving the land. Yeah, yeah. But it's, and uh, Corona has actually brought awareness, I think, so to everybody uh, that uh, the way we are treating our mother, our uh, earth, you know, the way we have been, we have taken everything for granted, I think so. And um, it's a lesson, the mother earth is uh, basically trying to tell us, hey, you know, you, you, all, you all can't destroy me, you'll better take care of yourself, otherwise I'll destroy you. So it's a kind of a thing which uh, I think we all, we all are sensitive, we all know what is happening. And I feel it's high time we took uh, our responsibility more seriously and uh, the main way of taking responsibility is by each and every individual being uh, doing his own duty correctly and I think that's, you don't need to do anything more than that. Yes, but uh, the, these lessons, uh, uh, will they stay on with the masses? The, the, you know, the educated, the uneducated, and it is such a huge uh, question in our country. How do we get it across? I think everybody is aware of it and everybody is feeling the pain and agony of it and everybody knows what's happening and everybody wants to live and all. everybody wants to be right and they've understood. But uh, as long as uh, we do not all get together, especially the people who are running the country and the people who are on a well-off side and they, you know, start functioning and making systems right and uh, you know not just simply everyone is running after money basically you know that is what has been the problem of the world right now yes and which uh, that is the cause of every all, all these issues right now and right now we have come to understand all we need is just food that's all nothing else and, yeah uh, with and this lockdown 
yeah, this lockdown has taught us a lot of things and made us aware of a lot of things and, uh, you know, the values and uh, how we go back into our flashbacks of thinking of how things were years back and how nice it was, you know. And uh, I think we can make things better. But uh, I hope after this lockdown, people do, people do, do not forget what they have done and what they have suffered and not go for an, uh, and be sensible about it rather than saying, Chalo, abhi aage nahi hoga, not, not to take it that, that way, you know. Yes. Once this is lifted, then uh, people have to be so sensible and smart about uh, just keeping the distance and sanitizing ourselves the way we've been all trying to do last few weeks. As human beings, we have to start getting more, 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 more responsible, you know. That's very important. As human beings, we have to have a, uh, make ourselves a better person, you know, stop being greedy, stop being doing things which would, you know, which we don't need, we don't require and uh, make life easier for yourself. And um, I'm sure everybody follows that. Otherwise, uh, anyway, it, right now we have no idea how the economy of the world is going to be because uh, yes, nothing is going to be the same again now. Nothing. No matter whatever we may say, it, things are not going to be the same again. Do you feel that strongly that nothing will be the same again? No, I, I do do feel strongly. It won't be the same again because, uh, uh, I mean, see the amount of uh, things have stopped. Every every project, every person who is doing something, everything has come to a standstill, and uh, everyone who has been hurting and who is hurt is uh, going through his own correction of how he wants to exist now after this when things get better, definitely. Yes. Yes. It, it, that is the thing that a uh, huge question of how we will go forward. Maybe it will take six months to come back to normalcy if ever in this year, in 2020. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would say, <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> I would, uh, it's it's going to take a long time. I would say next year somewhere people will be until and unless the vaccine is not out, I don't think things will get better. People will open up, people will go out and people will start uh, and this virus will keep catching on to them. You see, we can't fear, we, I mean, the, we have to accept this virus and we have to be sensible, but it is a, and in another way also, it's just like a flu, but it's a, it's a flu which basically can take your life, you know, yes. so that, is the, that is the key thing. So you have to keep yourself healthy and see that your immunity is good. But uh, all the time washing your hands, all the time doing all that is also going to kill away the immunity and the things that you have, which we, you know, which we deal day to day, you know. Yeah. Uh, I remember during elections, I, I would have met and shook hands with lakhs and lakhs of people. I would have hugged the lakhs and lakhs of people. Yes. And, uh, and one went through the whole process and one never fell ill, you know, because it's not, uh, it's, it is something which uh, we all have a, there are good bacteria and bad bacteria, and the, all these things are the way we, we I mean, how we are existing right now. But the minute yes. we are gonna, we, the minute we're gonna make ourselves so clean that uh, you know, it, uh, we should be careful about it. We should. I, I would say that you know, we have got two type of people: who, some who don't care, and some are gone oversensitive about it. Yes, yes. So it has to be somewhere in between. I mean, we have to fear it, but we don't have to fear it that we start imagining things in our mind. Yeah, paranoia had uh, taken over, but I think things are better now. What do you think? Well, I don't know what's happening. I mean, uh, uh, all over. I mean, uh, USA and uh, other places. Uh, but in our country, I'm definitely in right now, country. you know. Yeah. Uh, even, I mean, if you go to see the number of tests we have in, our, in Bombay, Mumbai city itself, is just hardly a lack. And uh, we have been shut down for how many days? 50 days or something. Like that. That's nothing. That's just one lack. A test means nothing. Yeah, that's the thing. That and our is. population is 1.7 crores. So it's just the tip of the iceberg, our testing. It's a long way to go. It is a long way to go. I mean, we, we do say that, you know, it, the, we keep the God so busy that it doesn't leave our country. That's why we say God is only in India. Because the way we are, the way we, <laughs> the way we, <laughs> things, we still get away from everything. And, you know... Uh, so yes, uh, yes. That, that is something which, uh, which is there with us. Leading on to the next question, 
the government has done a commendable job. It has flattened the curve of the pan pandemic in India. But the hospitals and the doctors are under huge pressure. What is your opinion of their healthcare system and how do you make it reachable to the poor? You see, right now, basically, from the COVID point of view, whoever's getting anywhere, wherever they are, they get tested and they're, having, they're being, being brought into the hospital, which is a government hospital anyway. And um, yeah. they have uh, even forced down the normal uh, hospitals to take the patients in. And they have quite a lot of uh, willingly come up, up as well. Uh, so I think from that point of view and from medical point of view, everybody is doing their best. I don't think anybody is shying off anywhere. No. But uh, definitely we need more, more. We need more, more beds. And uh, we need a little bit more of understanding to be spread out to the people. And um, definitely the government has done a great job. And I, I mean, uh, but I still feel there's a lot more to be done and a lot more to be discussed, which I have no idea what, how we're going to open up. You know, I really do not know how we're going to open up and how we're going to be, you know, we keep saying that uh, the traveling, I'm, you know, two people in a car, or that's fine. But what about the trains? What about the buses? How will yes. people commute? Yes. How will people go anywhere who are working over here in the city, especially? I'm talking city point of view mostly. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. It's uh, We have to wait and watch how it goes uh, because uh, I'm sure they're making a plan, but I hope they bring it out very fast. <laughs> we are all hoping for that, yeah? Because it's been, it seems like a lifetime, most of the cities. Uh, my third question, uh, Sunny, is the economic re repercussions are inevitable. Are you hopeful that the film industry will survive and recover? Um, I, I mean, you see, we, uh, everyone has to survive. Everyone has to be strong enough and fight it out and uh, move ahead with it. And uh, definitely uh, uh, solutions will be found. Uh, like I said, things may not be the same, you know. Yeah. Uh, things will change. Uh, but uh, I'm sure once the vaccine is out, things will get far, far better because uh, the film industry and all the entertainment and all this kind of formats, people are very much close to each other. You can't wear masks and be with each other over there. Yeah, you can't wear masks on sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah you can't be uh, photographed. <laughs> yeah, and it's a very physical kind of a thing. You know, everybody is just near one another. So definitely it's going to take its time. and uh, And I'm hoping that like we're saying, by the end of the year or beginning of next year, the vaccine is out and uh, that would make life easier for everyone, for all the industries. Yes, yes, yeah. But uh, one will have to sit down and, uh, and uh, the creative people have to start thinking of more stories and use their time for that. And uh, actors have to see that they're safe fit. What else can we do? Absolutely. And later on, the girls will ask you about the digital platforms that are becoming so popular and we're only watching Yeah, this. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mr. Diol. I'll hand you over to our next uh, uh, lady from the committee, Dia Jaiswal. She'll okay. be on to ask you. Good evening, Mr. Diol. Good evening. Re Good evening. To reiterate what our president just said, it truly is a pleasure to have you here with us in LSG. And I have to say, personally, it's a huge fan moment for me. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that. So, you know, this whole situation that we are in, there's a very nice word that's come out and that's like a Corona coaster. And I think today, just like a roller coaster has its ups and downs, all our lives now are like a Corona coaster. And we have moods and we have days which are very good and we have days which are very bad. And I know Bollywood, you know, together and individually, all of you have done a huge job trying to make sure that we all feel better. What do you do every morning when you wake up to stay positive? I'm mostly a positive guy. I've always been a very positive. I, I don't like uh, sadness and depression. I, it's not that it doesn't come. It does come, but I shun it off very fast because uh, there's no use uh, thinking about it because unless and until you're not positive, you can't do anything. True. And uh, and I've always been an early guy who rises up early. It's been my clock. I get up around six o'clock. The minute the sun is out, I my body clock just wakes me up. You know, it's uh, just up in the morning. And... Um, I'm very fond of a, a very physical guy who likes to work out and play games and also I get into my sports straight away. And especially now, I'm doing quite a bit. I virt virtually do three to four hours in a day. And uh, that keeps me happy and positive. Uh, definitely on film scales, 
men can want to move out. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Uh, true. It gets on to you, and how much can you watch on the television, on your true. internet, or whatever it is, whichever format you're watching. You know, it gets to you after a while. True, true. So but, I think uh, all our members have heard that. I think we all are going to put fitness into our daily routines for those of us I, who haven't. <laughs> very I, think important. That, I think that's very important. It, I, fitness is something which keeps you feel positive. True, very true. You, you, very true. I don't know. I, unless I don't do a workout, I feel my whole day is gone. I think maybe people do that. Only people don't get that. And what is that one thing, if there is anything at all that at night when you're trying to sleep that does worry you? One thought that comes to your mind, you know. See, most of the worries basically, you know, you realize, you don't know when you've gone old till you see your kids, uh, you know, they're standing there in front of you, hovering over you and you realize, hey, I'm old right now. <laughs> and uh, then looking at them and looking at all the other responsibilities, when you start thinking, you know, then, then you start thinking, you know, what your parents used to think, you know, we used to worry, why dad is thinking like that, what's the point, there's no nothing to worry. But uh, the worry is not about yourself, worry is about your family. True. Very and true. Um, that's the worry which you know keeps, uh, which starts off, and that stays in your head most of the time. True, true. Very well said. So the whole film industry is now going through such a difficult time, and box office is of course completely shut down. So what do you think is the way forward? Is it going to be web series and things on the digital media? See, web series, digital media is there, is going to be there, and uh, definitely to even do. Anything, one has to go out and work and um, uh, that will only start once uh, we can go out and start working, you know. Yeah, yeah. So once we start working out over there, obviously the cinemas, we will be doing films, we'll be doing digital formats, we'll be mixing it up. Mm -hmm. And um, I think um, that's the way it is right now because uh, I never thought people would enjoy a film on a small phone, you know. But the quality and the new generation has come, they kind of watch most of the film on that on the Very on true. the on the phone true. you know uh, rather than watching it even on a big screen so uh, and then again you watch uh, quite a lot of our uh, uh, the, like the drivers and the rest of the people who are along with you the crew members and all they all all the time watching something or the other because they would, everybody's killing time watching something true true on their phone so, so yeah. i think this is something which is uh, which is going to be there and uh, this is going to be the future now it's only the 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 connection how it comes through like first it was satellite now it's through internet so you know these things might keep changing but uh, the media will always be the same on small screen on big screen but uh, the content will be the same only uh, differences that for the television and for the digital format uh, you get the you get the longitude of uh, you know making it longer and you know going to the details of everything and making it into a bigger saga. Uh, the films we can't do that so that is the two two differences which are which uh, for a maker and for an actor is there so are you planning to join this for uh, you know, do something in the digital space at the moment or not at the moment yeah i would be i would be i would be doing something you are exploring uh, that yeah yeah i would be doing that um, we can look forward to that which are there yeah 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 i'll be doing so talking now about the state, I mean, the economic hardship and the humanitarian crisis post the lockdown is possibly going to become even worse than the very crisis itself. And although the government has allowed now farming and industry to be opened with the migrant labor movement, how do you think it's going to affect both the farming all over India and in your state especially? You see, farming is something which is going to be the most important thing now after this. Very true right and medical these are the two things you know it has made us realize that our medical sector not only of ours but the whole world is pretty weak yes. you know we need we need to up it up and we need to be you know there which we are not there especially in the smaller towns in my district there, there's hardly anything there's nothing over there uh, so that's why i said it's basically the attitude of people has to change people have to start thinking that you know uh, if if your health is not fine how the hell are you going to exist so and uh, People are so much into money that they are not bothered about uh, the wellness of uh, what is required for everyone. And um, so the equations and even people working and whoever pick up the projects, they are also thinking about how much can I make out of making out of this rather than what I'm doing it for and what it's going to be. Yeah. So it's a big battle out there, which I hope will, will not be there much over there. I know in my constituency, I tried a lot. I, I mean, I've just started off. And uh, my first uh, uh, thing with them was uh, 
when there was a blast over there, or the uh, yes, cracker blast over yes. there. Yeah. In fact, you and, missed uh, your son's premiere because of that, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah. And when I went there, it, I realized that actually there is no value of life, not from any department. Right. Um, the police is not bothered. The media is pathetic. They're not even interested. There are so many people lying over there. They're just wanting to get a video shot of it. In the ICU, they are, there are hundreds of people in ICU, you know, and people are suffering and there's nothing over there. So how, how, how does one, how do, I mean, how can a single person do anything about it? Really? So, uh, so that's when I realized that there has to be something. And the first thing I did was got in two, three ambulances because there were no ambulances. Oh. And rest and I've started work with my with the Home Minister and everybody trying to see how I can bring in the existing hospitals, you know, get them functioning rather than getting new hospitals because that'll take years. Mm -hmm. But what is there? How can we make that into a, a better better place? Well, I also noticed you wrote to the, uh, uh, the External Affairs Minister, Mr. Jay Shankar, about the people from your state who are stuck outside, the students yeah. and the yeah. tourists. No, Has there been I, any I, movement on that? Have they... Yeah, they, they, you see, uh, uh, Everyone, we are, I mean, we're speaking to them and they're wanting to do it, you know, but there's a protocol home. which has to be followed, which they're following right now. And uh, they spoke to the embassies over there. They spoke to the government out over there. So the people out over there, uh, one is in Malaysia, somewhere over there, they have been looked after pretty well. Okay. So, you know, uh, those, all these things are happening and, um, and quite a lot of uh, our flights are going to be going in, out there to fly them in. So okay. uh, all this process news, is on, all, all this is on. All this very is good news because we all have people outside who are trying to come back home, and this is very reassuring to hear that things are moving in the right direction for those oh, people. They are, so they are. I think I think everybody wants everybody has everybody is feeling the pain and agony, and they sure. they they are realizing that uh, you know when they see somebody else, they know if I was there, it would be with me. And Absolutely. How, what, what, Absolutely. What would I want to do there? Correct. So coming to your son, your handsome son, Karan, and the movie that you made, his debut film that you directed, what was it like directing your own son? What were the equations like? Oh, I, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I was basically more of a director and I'm being a father. So obviously he would have gone through a lot of a tough time with me because uh, me being the father and the director. <laughs> 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 because... Uh, you know, our systems are like that, you know, even if my dad comes into my room, I'll kind of move off to the other room, you know, we're so scared of our parents and, and similarly things have followed down to my kids as well. It's not a, it's not, it's more of respect. I don't know what I, it's, I think it's just a feel of, a, you always feel guilty about something, though you've done nothing, but you feel maybe dad knows about that and he shocked you about that <laughs> or something or the other. And, uh, and I think that's what happens with the kids as well, my kids and all, you know. Uh, Definitely, I mean, I, 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 I pushed him everywhere. I pushed him a hell of a lot, and especially the conditions where we were shooting were really un inhuman conditions over there. We were at uh, altitudes where breathing was very difficult, I and saw those uh, the temperatures, yes. were, yes. temperatures were minus out over there, and it was very risky. He went through a lot of training over there, and uh, I remember the first time when I told him, you know, come down from the hill over there, uh, which was nearly four, five hundred feet down, and uh, you know. I said, okay, yeah, we need to do this like this, like this, like this. So he went along with the people up there and they came down and he came down. And when he was coming down, I suddenly felt a father in me. I said, what the hell am <laughs> oh, I doing? <laughs> I can imagine, yes. And what about your younger son, Rajveer? What's, are you planning to launch him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're planning to launch him as well. Now, right now, things are going to be a little slow and a little late. Yes, uh, yes. When things get better, definitely he will be out there. But uh, definitely, I won't be, you know, uh, I've decided not to do any more production than uh, okay. directing right now for time being. Okay. So okay. that we are looking, we're discussing with a lot of people to take the project. And so we're looking forward to seeing Rajveer too now soon. <laughs> and yeah. to that release. So Punjab is my own home state and it's really been a privilege to talk to you, sir. And I'm handing you over to my next committee member, Inu Bala. Thank you. Good, Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Sunny Diol. It's a pleasure to have you on the LG platform. Such Thank a pleasure. You. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> and like, can I ask a question of Flash from the Past? Yeah. Could you tell us about your debut film, Betab? What was the pressure then as a duel? And how did you personally handle it? 
to me that time uh, i don't know i mean like i said i never take pressure so much you know i prefer mm-hmm. I, i always believe you know you kar sakte ho jayega i didn't have that kind of a pressure as a right. matter of fact i remember when i was doing my for the first shot of my mood there were so many people there there was dilip sa raj kapoor ji and all the those senior actors i mean that time they were not so senior but they were there and the mm-hmm. uh, whole mehboob studio was packed and uh, we had to do a shot and uh, I was so confident. I just did the thing uh, without being nervous about it. <laughs> it's in the genes. <laughs> so it is I, then in I, the genes. Yeah. So I'm not while working, while acting, and all nothing. I have. I, I'm never nervous about it. The only time I get feel little conscious and shy is when I have to do some song or something. You know, that dancing number that troubles me a lot. That's the only <laughs> right. time when I feel. That's the only time I feel. Oh God, what the hell am I doing? And at times I get temperature. I mean, I'll say I, I'm going away. <laughs> <laughs> so, which roles are you most comfortable in? I'm okay with any kind of a role. As an actor, nothing troubles me. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, right. when I feel it is a little bit more, I can't understand. It's going to be difficult. The more interesting it is, because then you get to get to you know uh, you get to tread into something which is not so safe and straight. You know. and you discover right. yourself uh, how you can uh, manage that out absolutely so your film gadar ek prem katha became an all time blockbuster and the biggest hit of the 21st century earning like something like 973 million rupees in india in your view uh, what contributed to this mega success at that time ah uh, i don't know i think i think it was a such a It's, it was such a delicate love story, a beautiful love story, if you ask me frankly, which was, uh, which, uh, which was a big story, also a saga kind of a story, where the family, then the family gets indulged okay. into it, then he has a child and all, and then mm-hmm. definitely, and it was about during the, it was placed during the period, uh, during the period of partition, so right. it brought in, it brought in all those nostalgia to it and uh, the values of life and, and uh, how much a person. how much a family i mean fights for their own family and how much a husband can fight for his family and for his children and wife and everything so that's that's a, that's what it was all about and it had great 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 music which we went along with the film and uh, definitely it all it all 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 everything clicked everybody did their best in the film and uh, that's how the film becomes good it's not one person's show it's everyone's yeah. uh, contribution and uh, somehow and uh, it released and i remember when it released Uh, the people of the studio z studio nobody wanted to acknowledge it at that time everybody was scared of the film media was writing bullshit about it and then mm-hmm. suddenly it just uh, became what it became without anybody wanting to accept it <laughs> because the people were liking it and uh, that's how that's how it took off and it uh, until today people we, people watch it and they talk about it so the critics are not always right <laughs> well actually you know uh, you can't say about these critics you know because most of the people are not so so uh, they don't know their job they just simply need to be critics that's all they are they just need to write something bullshit about they don't seem to be understanding the the gist of the s- story and what all it is yeah and from your movies betav ghayal border gadar to damini which character did you relate to both please share some experiences from the movie uh, uh whom i related to more is very difficult to say that because you know there's a little bit of you which goes into every every film you do you know those characters because there has to be some kind of a belief you have to bring in and mm-hmm. that that side has to be somewhere there within you as a human being and so that's what uh, being an actor is and that's why we love it so much you know we can uh, that's a place where we can enact being anybody and, uh, right. and bring out our different emotions and uh, so so it's, it's a beautiful well profession yeah it's a beautiful profession well said now i hand over to the next committee member mini juneja who will ask you few questions thank you in a very good evening mr deol good evening thank you so much for being with us today uh, you know in the midst of this crisis and uh, uh, making the evening so special for the lady study group members and i'm sure they'll agree to this <laughs> so my first question to you is uh, how would you describe yourself using five adjectives <laughs> uh, it's very difficult for me to do all that uh, why don't you ask me okay i mean I, all i can say is that uh, as a person i can say about myself is uh, 
is uh, I just uh, at times try to think what am I, who am I, and why am I, and then I can only come down to a thing that uh, it is basically you know the the sponge which you are basically and what you gather from your family, from your friends, and from everyone around you during the growing years of your life is what you eventually turn out to be uh, a person basically, you know, uh, and, um, and, uh, and then definitely, a major role, yes. yeah, major. yeah, and then definitely there is, every person has his individuality and uh, that, that is the character which a person has and then uh, how much he can take it ahead basically and uh, what he can be. For me, basically, I find it very difficult to lie. I can't lie. And if I see something going wrong, I have to do something about it. Otherwise, I shouldn't be there. Wow, that's amazing. Or, uh, so, and uh, and uh, if I say something to somebody, I'm going to do it. I have to do it. If I don't do it, I can't sleep. So, you know, I'm that kind of a, uh, kind of a person where, uh, the, where uh, I get stuck at many places. <laughs> Keep your promise. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. If I say I'm going to be doing it, I do it. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, could you talk about some events uh, that have influenced you to become what you are today? Events, I can't say, you know, because it's not an event. It's the way you are. I mean, it's the way things are, basically, you know. I, all I can say is that I thank my parents. I thank my, because we lived in a joint family. I thank them all. I mean, I know I'm, I'm the person just give a her admin hard saf kiya hoga because but but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that uh, because we were, you know, so we were very shirarti. We were very And um, definitely then uh, our parents also, you know, were so protective. We were brought up, you know, building my dad, so I didn't want to go down, I didn't want to go down, so I was also very protective. I Anyway. Yeah, that's the way of uh, life is. Uh, right now, though, nobody touches a child because uh, the rules and regulations are such. You don't yeah. even... Uh, I just feel that, you know, uh, a child should be told he himself knows what he's doing wrong, but he should not uh, let go of that. You should tell him that it is wrong and you should get the child, make him realize that, uh, you know, uh, you can't get away by uh, just simply saying a sorry, but there has to be meaning behind it, which... Uh, it's very important, uh, I feel, you know, not for, not for any other reason. It's for his tomorrow. True. It's not for today. It's for tomorrow, you know. And, uh, and we somehow spoil our kids a lot, you know, right now because we want to give them everything. And uh, we're ready to do anything for them. And, uh, you know, we have to keep a little harshness with ourselves and not feel we are being mean or we are being anything. I think we should be a little bit... Uh, Little, you have to hold yourself and you know, see that they are on the right track all the time. You know, it's your job to do that because after they're 18, it's their life. Yeah, very true. So my next question is, uh, you are wearing many hats, that of an actor, director, producer, and lastly, a politician. So what drew you to politics? I mean, what made you join politics? Uh, it was a very difficult choice, basically. Many a times I was not going to do it. They were after me for lots, a couple of years now, and I was just dodging it away. Okay. And uh, now also I've met them and I said, okay, fine, but I, I will because uh, I, I believe in you all, so I will come in, but I can only do things the way I do. I, I have no other, I'm not a politician. I'm just a, a, a person who would like to do as much uh, what I feel needs to be done. And if I promise a person and where I am that if I can't do things over there, then I will, I won't be able to be in the politics for too long. You're doing fabulous I'm, work, uh, you know, you donated a huge amount uh, of, uh, you know, rupees. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 you see, my basic thing is to how, how I can, uh, you know, the basics are... Who's she? Who's she? Who's she? It'll come back. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the basic necessities are something which are missing out in the everybody's life, which are, which are which are very simple, which need to be brought in over there. Yeah. And um, and I'm getting to learn, and I'm going to see a lot over there. And uh, I'm I'm keeping myself focused. That uh, in in spite of so many hard, I mean, um, so many kind of blockages are going to be there from one side or from the opposition side and from the people and from so many other agendas 
I try to see that uh, I I do the job which I need to do. Like I said, I've taken up medical, which I'm going to be doing a little bit more into it. And my other thing which I really want to get down doing over there is to get the kids get sports as much as I can because I think that's what keeps them at bay from uh, from other things, you know, other activities in life. That's much so, more Yeah, and um, whatever is required over there, I'm trying to do as much as I can as a politician and as a human being, I can do and uh, I'm, trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to do my best. You're doing a fabulous job. It's amazing. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So my last question is, uh, what is your formula for success? What is your, the success formula that you... Uh, I really don't know if there's any formula to it. I think it's destiny in a way also and definitely hard work is the most important thing. Hard work and the uh, Whichever field you are in, either you should have the talent of that field, whichever field you are in, and then definitely you have to add 100% hard work to it, and then definitely there's a luck factor to it. If there's no luck, you you know it doesn't move ahead. So it's a mixture of everything, but uh, definitely, I mean, luck may come and go, but you should be working hard for it. So the, at that time, you shouldn't be sitting somewhere. Yeah, there's no shortcut to success. No, no, I I I don't believe in shortcuts. I find it boring. People are right now, everybody wants shortcuts. They just want to reach there. They want to fly down to uh, Mount Everest rather than going through the journey of it. Yeah. And uh, and it's becoming possible because that's the way life is becoming. But uh, what's the fun? I, I'm sure the person, what do you enjoy in it? I mean, unless and until you don't go through the grind of, uh, of uh, achieving it yourself, uh, you know, and... Uh, uh, that's the kind of a person I am. If I get something very easily, I, I, I don't appreciate it. I don't like it. True. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Diol. We're truly honored to have you with us today. I thank now you. hand over uh, uh, the baton to uh, Richa Agarwal. She will ask the next question. Thank you, thank you Mini. Good evening, Mr. Diol. It's a pleasure for... It's a pleasure for all of us at LSG to be able to e interact with you today. And like my friend Bia said, definitely a big fan moment. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the film industry is a very, very close knit community and that has managed to stay thick through every up and down. Has this pandemic brought the industry closer? Uh, uh, and also, yeah. And also at this point of time, losing very great people from the industry, Kulmi Prakarji, Irfan Khan, Rishi Kapoorji, it's a rather sensitive moment, moment and not being a part of their final journey. I mean, how do you feel about it? You see, it's very sad uh, when uh, anybody who's close to you, whom you've known, passes away. You know, it's, it's really very, very sad. Uh, I mean... Uh, but then that's a reality of life and uh, no matter what uh, what what you may think about it but you have to accept it and let go of it and uh, and uh, then you satisfy yourself by saying oh well he had a good life he did this he did that you know just to make yourself feel better for the person um, but i think we all eventually one more, uh, one day we all have to go anyway and so that is the sadness about it but that's a reality and uh, they were both, all of them were very fine actors. And uh, I've interacted with uh, Irfan and I've interacted with uh, uh, Chintu as well. We did films and uh, they're fine human being. Uh, as a matter of Kapoor family, one has been, we know the family very well from a dad and onwards. And we all are very much, uh, I mean, one, I don't attend many functions or parties, but uh, whenever we do meet, there's a lot of warmth among ourselves because that's the genuine respect we have. And uh, definitely, it was a bundle of talent. Uh, and uh, it is sad. But then again, we all know that he was suffering. The Both of them were suffering because of cancer. And they were fighting the battle over there. And uh, which, uh, I mean, everybody knows it's a, it's, it's, it's a battle which one doesn't know who's going to win over there. You know, It prolongs things and it's very painful. So definitely, I mean, it's a great loss. It's a great loss. And uh, regarding the, the the situation right now, because of the poverty, what the industry is, uh, I think everybody is basically so so much at home right now. I think everyone is basically uh, going through the flashbacks of the families. They are 
the moments of what they have spent years back with the kids and everything. I think that's what every 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 film person is doing right now. And um, besides that, everybody has got a lot of fear about the thing. And uh, so I don't think I know that nobody's moving out. <laughs> and uh, they are all just trying to, you know, either come on the social network and uh, try to cheer people up. And they're doing their bit, uh, whichever way they can be as a, as a showman. And really encouraging and wonderful for all of us to be able to see it and see positivity and grow along with it. Yeah. Thank you, Saniji. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, may I ask Inu to take the evening on, please? So, Saniji, we have a question from uh, Dr. Nandini Ray, an esteemed uh, LG member. And she asks, which Hollywood actor do you look up to? And which particular Hollywood director would you like to be directed and casted by? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough one, well, but... There are quite a lot of good actors in Hollywood, you know. There are loads, loads of good ones. Uh, when I started my career, I was a great fan of James Dean. I don't know if you all know of him. He had only done three films and I was really a big fan of his. And um, then... Uh, then uh, I, I mean, I've followed a lot of actors and uh, I feel quite a lot of them are doing a great job out over there. The difference between them and us is that they bring in the reality to the cinema. They bring in the characters very true to it. And that is the kind of something which we over here, we somehow, our cinema doesn't seem to be getting there. Uh, but then anyway, it's cinema here, cinema there. It's entertaining people and that's what they're doing. And uh, I was I'm a, I'm a big fond uh, of, uh, I'm very fond of uh, Mel Gibson. I really like yeah. him. Yeah. And then uh, Liano do, uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm bad with pronunciations. <laughs> uh, uh, he, I, I, I like him. He's a great actor. He's a new one who's been doing quite a lot of films this time. And I find him really doing a good job in every film he does. Uh, and uh, Tom Hanks, he's again another very fine actor. One can always watch his films and you know really enjoy those films. And from directors, I'm really not so um, so much. I do not know whom I would say that because uh, it, uh, let it be any director. It, the script has to be good where it would give justification for me to be as an actor, not just uh, doing a Hollywood film. I'm not so keen on doing it in that way. Uh, I rather have something which uh, makes me dig into it and you know be something rather than many Hollywood come here. Right, right, right. So we have another question from Ekta Jain. She says, Dharamji, you, Bobby, sir, and now the next generation. Cinema has been your life. And one advice that you received and you would like to pass it on to Karan. Well, I, I can only, ad or the advice which one has always gives my kid is that uh, you have to keep on working hard. And uh, fortunately, we all have been, like I also was brought up in this uh, atmosphere of seeing what, uh, how the goods and the bads of the, the, the industry and uh, how it is. And mm -hmm. they've also seen all that. So my only thing is that you'll know what happens. You'll know it's not a good format. It's a place where, you know, every day there's going to be a judgment. Like my granny used to say, she says that being an actor is is a is a is such a hard thing because every day you are you are looking for am I passed or have I failed? Every day you are doing that, no matter how many films you do. Every day you have to go through that process of life. And um, but you have to be. You, but I think the passion and the want and desire for this field where you are as an actor, uh, yeah. you have to fight it out. You have to fight it out with mentally, basically. And uh, there's nothing out there which is wrong. It is in your brain which we make it up. And uh, that is something which one should be strong enough to throw it off and uh, enjoy the work and uh, not look forward to how good or bad it's going to be. Because I myself did so many films, I never knew my films would be hit or flop. We, I just enjoyed mm -hmm. the journey of it. And uh, then after doing the film and it would release, I would be shooting another film and that film would have released and it's a hit. One wouldn't even know about it. Uh, while because right. I worked on another film because uh, that's the way I have been. I remember my Betab releasing and uh, that next day I was flown into to Russia to shoot for Sony Mahiwar. <laughs> and that time uh, Russia was very different. So one had no news what's happening over here. So after 45 days I came back after the, the film had released. 
Right. So, so, so that's the way I I take it, and I'm I'm, I'm I've told my kids to be the same. Just uh, go along. Don't let uh, it being good excite you too much, or being bad depress you so much. Just carry on doing it because the journey is a long journey. Yet. Right. So we have a last question from Mitali Chatterjee, the executive secretary of LSG, the backbone. Uh, she says that, do you believe that people have genuinely learned a lesson from this COVID-19 situation? Will they really be better human beings? I hope that they do. I hope. I hope. Because we cannot keep getting chances over and over again. I hope. I pray. I pray to God. And I, with a folded hands, I ask everybody, please understand that we have messed it up and we should not, once we are out of this, which we will be, we should not forget what we have done and why we, we, we reached here and how we can rectify ourselves. We need to be simple. We need to be really simple. Not get so so ambitious about things just because. And don't look at your neighbors because don't do it that way. Do what you have and then you're happy and be content. Be content and happy with what you have because what you have is so beautiful and that looking at others, you're, you're, uh, you're giving away the charm of what you have with you. You know, so right. I just hope that I just hope that they do. They do. So I hand over to Iti Das Gupta now. That was so wonderful, Samiji. We are like speechless. Thank I don't you. know how to thank you. You have cheered up a dreary afternoon for all of us here in Calcutta. Thank you, thank you. It was nice interacting with everyone. You know, it's a, it's a, you know, I'm a little bit of a shy guy. I hardly interact with people outside. No. Uh, so, From the hearts, uh, thank you so much. Because I think positivity is the main thing that we're all looking for now in these days. It's following our routine, but how many more? Everybody's counting days to when it will end. And yeah. that's the hard part of it. And thank you for your message for the children. Because I think the young mothers with their children at home trying to do homeschooling are having a far harder lives. Then yeah, we had expected. Yeah, yeah. No, that is there. That is there. But it's bringing everybody more together to with one another. That is definitely there. Yes. This time that we have spent with our families, we, we would never probably have happened. Yeah. Because we were all busy on our own journeys. That's right. Can you end this talk by giving us a positive message for the future months? No, I think just be strong like you all have been strong. Don't give up. It's always going to be brighter out there and every day. I and mean, just think positive and uh, just take the day as it goes uh, because even the day which you have right now, that day is not going to come back. So enjoy it and uh, make best of whatever you have right now as well. And make it beautiful. Absolutely. And we there would is like... a... Sorry. Sorry, Iti. There is a request from all the members collectively. That yes. They want a dialogue from... Yes, Sunny please. <laughs> they want a closing dialogue. <laughs> One closing dialogue. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. I find myself so embarrassed doing all these things. No. Yeah, Thai Kelo ka haat jab utta hai na, to aad ni utta nahi. I think that was the shortest Fabulous. I could Thank you. <laughs> that was wonderful. We would also like to send very, very warm greetings to your favorite father, Dharmendra Ji. Thank you. Thank and you. And your whole family. Thank you. We really appreciate how you kept up this bond of family ties and respect and love for each other and hope we can all do the same in our families. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. And lots of love to everyone. You. Everyone. Just Thank be strong. You. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Everybody. Thanks to the whole committee. Thank you, Thank everyone. You. Thank you.